The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. We have a couple storms popping up on our radar at the moment, and that is thanks to a surface front that is located just to our south and to our east right along here. So we're seeing some pop up showers just in between there as we have winds funneling in from the southeast and as high pressure moves in from the north and from the west, we're getting converging winds right along here. So we're seeing just a couple of pop up thunder showers at the moment, and we're actually starting to see severe thunderstorm warning in Patrick County, but that's actually moving south into North Carolina into Stokes County at the moment. But you see a couple of showers here on radar. Let's dive in a little bit closer into Pennsylvania County at the moment. Just a couple of pop up showers this afternoon. There's no lightning embedded in these storms at the moment. At least I don't think so. Let me actually populate that just to be sure. But yeah, no lightning in these storms. So just a short sprinkle overhead. These storms will be moving to the south and to the east over the course of the next couple of, I don't know, half an hour to an hour. So not too much going on there. Radar is pretty clear. It'll start to clear up as the afternoon progresses. Now, isolated storms for this evening and then a drop in humidity through your Wednesday and then rain chances will also return on Thursday. Now we're also tracking smoke. We've been dealing with this all summer since early June. We get our cold front that moves through low pressure starts to go out to the north and to the east. High pressure starts to build in from the south and from the west. And so we have funneling winds in from the north and from the west. And on Tuesday at about 4 p.m. we'll start to see some heavier smoke move into our area. But thankfully this will be at the mid and the upper levels. Not a lot of it will get mixed down to the surface, so we're not really expecting to see any decreases or declines in our air quality, but your local weather authority will keep you updated if things do change throughout the next couple of days. Now, it won't be as hot or as sticky through your Wednesday. Storm chances remain lower after this evening as low pressure starts to move out. High pressure starts to build in. And again, we get that same song and dance where right in between the two we get some thunderstorm activity. So our active storm track returns later on in the week on your Thursday and your Friday. Future tracker showing a few storms later on about 8 p.m. South Boston Danville. You guys get in on the action. Primarily south side in parts of Lynchburg see storms this afternoon. Most of us stay dry though with rain chances only about 20% through the overnight. We're still clear. Partly cloudy conditions persist, but tomorrow looks rather beautiful. Evening planner for tonight. Showers are dissolving. It'll start to cool off. We'll get to about 72 degrees by 10 p.m. Your overnight temperatures around the block 57 in the NRB, 59 in the Highlands, 62 here in Roanoke, 61 in Lynchburg and 62 in Southside. Now launch visibility for tomorrow out of Wallops Island. Most of us should be able to see it as partly cloudy skies will start to dissolve throughout tomorrow. So it should be a nice day to see the shuttle launch or not the shuttle launch that's back in the 80s and the 90s. <laughs> yeah, just just a launch tomorrow at about 831 tomorrow night. We also have a super moon, so there could be some really, really cool shots. This is the Sturgeon super moon. It's about 15 percent brighter and 15 percent larger than the average full moon for this time of year. Now this will actually be the closest the moon gets to us all year. It'll only be about 220,000 miles away. I know that's a lot, but still the closest the moon will be all of this year. Wednesday rain chances ramp back up to about 20%, but Thursday is the day that we are looking out. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday temperatures are in the 80s, but you'll notice on Monday we're back into the 90s.